The plan is in the works to ease congestion and congestion rather in Hampton Roads. BDOT wants to build a new network of high occupancy toll lanes on I-64. That's right. So they're called hot lanes and these new lanes are already opening in December, but the full network could be done by 2024. Stephen Graves was at today's VDOT meeting and he is live in Chesapeake with the latest on the plan. What do you have, Stephen? Well, Lucy, a lot of conversation around this uh, proposed plan for hot lanes here in our region. If you don't know, these lanes are on the inside of the highway that give people the option to ride in them. And hey, if you're one person in that car, there's an easy pass and you have to switch it over, com converting to HOV if you have more people in your car. So this is what it would essentially look like if this full plan went into place. Like you said, segment one is already approved here. So what was being discussed today by Reed regional leaders is this segment two here in the Great Bridge area. So people are talking about discussion in there about the tolls, where it would go. Officials say, of course, this would ease congestion and fix issues in an, a very congested area. And as you, you see here, segment three even goes up to the HRBT. Now we did talk to uh, James Utterback. He's the district director here uh, for VDOT. Hear what he has to say about the plans for the segment two and segment three. Express lane conversion would occur in 2021. The HRBT development would pace the express lanes on that particular section. So we were looking at 2024 for that. So that would be part of the. And so what we're talking about here at segment four, that's the proposed lane that goes all the way up to Jefferson Avenue in um, Newport News area. That still has to be talked about. We're very early on that. I'll explain more of that coming up in the later shows. Right now, they're voting on a resolution to uh, show support or not for these segment two and three. And we'll bring you all of that coming up later, that vote, and have more details on how all of this will work and affect you. For now, reporting live in Chesapeake, I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.